Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today it's my first video and I wanted to share with you guys 10 tips that helped me to transition greatly to natural hair. So now I'm currently 23 months post relaxer. So I think I have enough experience to share with you guys 10 tips that helped me greatly. So the first tip that I'm going to talk about is to dip condition. Dip conditioning not only helps you to detangle your hair when you're washing it, but also it will help your hair to grow faster and stronger. So this is something that I'm really consistent with. I do it every wash day and this help to keep and this helps to get my hair moisturized longer during the whole week until I wash my hair again. So the second tip that I have for you guys is to pre-poo. Um I started pre-pooing, I think, after my first year post-relaxer, and I realized how like why didn't I start doing this sooner because it helps you to detangle your hair and I usually people with coconut oil but you can people with any oil that you have so people when it's a pre shampoo so we, you do it before you wash your hair so I, I usually take some oil and I put it through my hair and I let it sit for about two hours or I sleep with it and the day after I would wash my hair the third tip that I have for you guys is to trim your hair regularly so I usually trim my hair every three to four months um, when I had a relaxer and I realized that trimming my hair regularly during my transition helped the thing you Because the biggest issue that you have when you're transitioning is dry hair and matted hair. The less relaxed hair that you have, the easier the detangling will be and it's, the, it's better too. Like, um, this I I didn't bitch up yet. I only um trimmed my hair every two every two months, every month or every two months. So I would go to the hair salon and have my hair straightened and also trim the ends. Then my fourth tip for you guys is to use a sulfate free shampoo. I would let you um do that experience yourself because when they first told me that, I thought it was like oh it's just marketing. Every shampoo works the same. But when I made the experience, I was like, why did I do this sooner? So face free shampoo, it will also moisturize your hair. Um, the one that I use is the Shea Moisture. The first one that I use, and I'm like, I'm never going back to regular shampoo. It's the Shea Moisture um, Restorative Conditioner. It's in the yellow bottle. Um, so I use the shampoo. Um, since I started transitioning until now, it's my go-to shampoo and I love it very much. So it will moisturize your hair and you won't get that squeaky clean feeling and cause that would eventually cause breakage. The other tip that I would have is to work in section. This won't only help you detangle your hair, but also optimize the product distribution in your hair. So usually I do four sections, two up here and two up, um, down there. And then I would detangle normally and also um, apply my product in sections. The other tip that I would have is to keep your hair moisturized. So after every wash day, I would usually um, use a live-in conditioner. Um, for the longest time, I used the Kintu, Kintu live-in conditioner. And now I'm using the Shea Moisture, um, I don't remember, I'll put it here if I found it. Um, it's really great, I mean, it helps to keep your hair moisturized and cause less breakage. Then my other tip would be to protect your hair at night. If you're not a satin um, scarf or um, bonnet type of girl, um, you could use the satin pillowcase. I have mine. It's right there. I think I got it from Amazon for like $10. Then my other tip would be to use less heat. If I told you to use no heat, like to not use heat at all, I would be lying. Because when you're transitioning to, when you're transitioning from straight hair to curly hair, sometimes you miss your straight hair. You miss your length. You miss being able to like run your fingers to your hair and it be really smooth right so i usually um I, I would usually use heat every week but i stopped doing that and now i use it probably every month every time that i go to the hair salon to get my hair trimmed so i would use heat and do the blow dry and flat iron but there's a method to this like 
I've been using heat and I didn't get any heat damage. It's because you need to protect your hair before you go to the hair salon. If you would like a video on how I protect my hair before going to the hair salon so I won't get any heat damage, please let me know. I would be happy to make a video for that. Then my second to last tip for you guys is to have a go-to style. It happens to the best of us, like you're, you you finish your wash day and you apply a bunch, a load, a load of products and they make your hair dry, they make your hair really hard to manage. So mine would be the low bun. I would just add water and some living conditioner and would put my hair through a bun and forget about it. And I would co-wash my hair in the middle of the week so I can refresh my hair. So co-washing if you don't know it's just using conditioner to um, you wet your hair you add conditioner and you run it through water and it's not cleaning your hair but it's refreshing your hair then my final tip for you guys is patience i mean you will hear that from every other youtuber but it's really patient like if you're not patient you must you may as well cut all your hair off because i have a friend she wasn't patient at all and she was like i can't deal with it and she cut it I cut it because I know I wouldn't like to see my hair in the afro, so I chose to transition. I'm currently 23 months post, and I wanted to stretch it out until I'm 24 months post. So I'm, I'm like, until now, I'm still like, oh, do I really need to cut it? I don't think I'm ready and stuff like that, but I'm like, you made it to almost 24 months post, and you wanted to make it for that long so i mean i'm really proud of myself i may cut it i may not cut it so thank you guys for watching it was a really fun video to make um i wrote it this morning at like 5 a.m and i was like why not make a video so i may or may not upload other video on, on this youtube channel but i already have an instagram page that i started probably a year ago it's exotic roots exotic i will write it on the screen or down in the description box um and yeah share your experience with me tell me what i missed and what you would like to see next thank you so much for watching i love you guys thank you for the support